I'm shooting this video today from one of the greatest sightseeings in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's called Tree of Life. You know, when you come from North Eastern Europe, where you have a lot of forest, trees, maybe it's not so impressive, but what is impressive that this tree, particular tree, is few hundred years old and it's growing, I'll show you around, it's growing in the middle of nowhere, you know, and imagine, imagine this view few hundred years ago. So, uh, and I, particular reason I'm here today, not only because of the tree, but I, every time I visit Bahrain, where I used to work in 2018, 2019, November is a fantastic place, because all those kind of a desert, in those small hills you see there and maybe you can see road cars and tubes pipes or pipes basically for for oil so here you can't find space or spot for free because it's usually full with tents what happens that Back in the day, people, you know, Bahrain was not a rich country before before discovery of oil, and people have been living um, in traditional areas like Moharak or Manama. Quite, you know, many people, Bahrain is in general one of the of the most populated countries per square kilometer because it's just 700 plus kilometers uh, island with uh, one and a half million population with the, including expats which making the the density of population one of the biggest all over the world so and those traditional uh, neighborhoods like Manama, Muharak Many people live in those old type traditional Gulf Middle East houses and what what they do for them is a nice location and traditionally I think King is issuing a decree that or Prime Minister that now you allowed to tent in this desert so here uh, next to tree of life and here you come you see lots of tents hundreds thousands and imagine people you know covering with uh, with rocks and they bring uh, armchairs sofas banks bring ATMs shops created here and people sit overnight here have muscleses where they sit speak through together yeah, it's great experience to be here and it lasts till till as far as i remember till march so it becomes like your kind of a you would say summer house but in fact it's a winter house you know where you can have a little bit more space even now it's it's, it's thousands of those ten thousand hundred thousands of those tents where people live by families visit each other uh, sometimes might be dangerous from that point of view that that people don't sleep during the night and and then they drive to work uh, might not you know notice so if you drive a uh, a bicycle you, you should be a bit careful um, here very friendly atmosphere and you know uh, you get here everyone is inviting you and you can chat with locals uh, 
and uh, if you have Bahraini friends you can you can get invited you know for their medlis and tent where you meet a lot of people people share uh, coffee kahwa and um, tea traditional and, and you sit majlis is where you sit discuss your your you know what could happen problems you have share your experiences it's, it's fantastic and i tell you really believe me it's everywhere around this desert is full of tents the, only the tents covid changed changed the world and let's hope inshallah as people and muslim people and uh, people in the gulf say inshallah the situation will be soon back to normal inshallah this was Thomas from Bahrain, live an interesting life.